Hey guys, this is Dylan with Let's Talk Pilot and um, got some cool things in store for the week. Gonna be planning on hopefully doing a flight with a buddy later this week actually to go up and uh, do a cross country. And uh, I also wanted to bring you guys along and show you some of the ins and outs of flying King Airs in Northern Canada. I'm in a kind of a unique position because I live in Regina and I have to travel to Saskatoon to work out of Saskatoon. I thought it'd be fun to start a channel where I kind of bring you guys along for the ride, show you the ins and outs, bit of the behind the scenes and obviously get some really cool cockpit footage, get some cockpit footage for you guys as well. But uh, anyways, let's, uh, Let's pack and let's get on the highway. Got two and a half hour drive ahead of me, so this might be interesting. It might be dark by the time I go, so let's get at her. Anticipated. It, <laughs> it usually is. Actually, here's a funny story. So I tried to record some footage last week and it didn't work out because of the weather. We ended up having a whole bunch of cancellations, which really sucked. So, <laughs> but I did have some footage from in the morning. So I'm actually gonna use the footage from last week for tomorrow morning, because it's the exact same thing. Exact same departure time, same plane, same job. We're doing the same thing, hanging out up in the range. So that uh, that ended up working out really well. I was checking the weather for tomorrow and it's actually supposed to be really nice. I've been really looking forward to uh, just some good weather flying. It's been, uh, it's been a really tough fall. So anyways, just getting on the highway. So I will talk to you guys and talk to you guys in the morning. Hey guys, Dylan from the future here. Uh, I just wanted to redo this section really quickly. Uh, it was just a little bit awkward. I'm still getting used to talking on camera. Even now, um, I've redone this part probably like five times. And there is the truck in the background, so. Just uh, bear with me here. So in this, uh, in this video, we're doing uh, five legs. We're doing a flight from Saskatoon to La Ronge. Uh, Larange to Pine House, Pine House back to Larange, holding for the day, and then going back to Pine House and then back to Larange where we we're gonna spend the night. And in this video, in this part, I was talking a little bit about the weather and how uh, gross it was, but that is incorrect. The weather um, 
in the footage that you're gonna see is really nice. We ended up having a really nice day for the first time in a long time. So took full ad uh, advantage of that and recorded as much as I could. So without further ado guys, I hope you enjoy the content in this video. I will see you at the end of the video and roll the time lapse. Speeds alive through 80 knots. Auto feathers armed. V1, rotate. Positive rate, you're up. Winnipeg Center, Good Spear 1128, good morning. Climbing 3500, S Fox 1 departure. Good Spear 1128, Winnipeg identified. Climb for level 210, continue runway heading. Five point level two one zero, runway heading to Spirit Eleven Twenty Eight. Spirit Eleven Twenty Eight, left turn heading is zero six zero. Left turn heading zero six zero, Eleven Twenty Eight. Set, Sarah Speed's alive, auto feathers armed, check. 
90 knots. 80 check. V1, rotate. Pause the rate. You're up. got in from doing the first three legs, which was Saskatoon to Orange, Orange to Pine House, and then Pine House back here. Now we're gonna sit for the day, grab some lunch, and just hang out till they're ready to go. And then we'll go fire back up and go pick them up and then come back here for the night. So it's been really good flying today. Really nice weather, actually. It's awesome. I've had such bad weather the last uh, couple weeks, so. It's definitely a nice change of pace, so I figured I'd give you guys a tour of the hotel room. <sighs> the bathroom. Looks clean. <laughs> Entranceway, walk-in, and I already set everything up so I could do some editing. The bed, the TV's running. It's got a microwave, a fridge, maybe there's something in there. Just some baking soda. What's up? And then we got, it's kind of a door to whatever that is. Entryway slash exit. So just gonna hang out and do a little bit of video editing. And then um, we'll see you guys back in the plane. I'm gonna go back into Pine House. So um, I think I'm gonna try to head, try to do the head mount um because it's gonna be my leg back in there so i um matt flew the first leg i flew the second leg into pine house and then he flew the third leg back here into larange so the next one's gonna be my leg and i figured it'd be really cool to do an actual um like an actual pilot's perspective video or section of the video so we're gonna try that out and see what that looks like so stay tuned We'll be see we'll see you guys back in the cockpit. Okay, one, one, two, eight, wind one two zero at four, altimeter three zero zero seven, and say again into the runway. Check uh, one two zero at four. We'd like three six if able for good spirit one one and two eight and check three zero zero seven. Roger runway three six and traffic just touching down at Green Slave and the helicopter. One one two eight checks the traffic, we're starting our taxi. Roger. Roger, ready, good speed 1128 Alpha, take position 36. Good speed 1128, Roger, report airborne. Call airborne, good speed 1128. Ready, left. Ready, right. Check. Rolling. Check. Perfect. 
Drops are governing. Set takeoff power. Takeoff power coming set. Airspeed's alive, auto feathers armed. Check. Are any knots? 80 check. B1, rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. 400 feet. Flaps up. Yaw damp on. FLC 160, please. Flaps up. Yaw damp. FLC 160. Ground rated good spare 1128 airborne 36 in the left hand. Uh, turn out 3001 and climbing 4500. Get one, one, two, eight. Roger, clear some. Call it clear some. Area right, six. Approach briefing. Uh, reviewed any questions? Some questions. Altimeter is set. Nice protection. Standard five and the windows. And pressurization is set for the field. Would you like your approaches too? Yeah, please. Recog lights are on. Auto feather is off. And radio nav aids. Our auto feather is yeah, it's off. Radio nav aids is set. And descent and approaches, red items complete, landings are next. Check that. Almost here. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, oh, yeah. should be right, right over there. there. It's almost it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because there's the point. Yeah. I check a thousand to go. Check. It's going to be one of these islands here is when a guy will start turning base leg. It'll be pretty much... This long, stretchy one is probably this one right here. I'm thinking that, yeah. And then there's like that tiny little tick right there yep. would be that tick. I think, uh, yeah, and then a fat one next to it. Fat one, and yeah, then... And then a fatter one. The fatter one of... Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be it. Yeah. <laughs> Technical aviation terms. Technical aviation terms. We'll learn ya. <laughs> gonna fly the point now. Mine was like traffic is for 1128 left base when we one six. I'll take props forward. I'll take gear down Let's and land checks. checks. Gear down, three green, no red. Landing gear is down, three green, no red. Burned. Landing lights are on. Prop levers are forward. Prop sink is armed. Nice veins are closed. Brakes, spark brake is off. And flaps. checked on the right. Flaps or approaches, fulls to go. Check. Lining checks complete, short miles next. Check. I don't think traffic gets spare 1128 is a three mile final for runway 16. Rift plus 20. 26, that much traffic at the low on Jumbo Beach on the under right. Rift plus 10. Check that. Plus five and ref. Yeah. Very nice. Low sixty. And flaps up. Flaps up. Beauty. Last the traffic is here at one one two eight is done. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's been in the works for a few days. It's my first time really editing stuff and it's my first time doing kind of like a vlog flight montage video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I do have some exciting news. Along the way, I was editing the video and I ended up showing the owners of the company that I work for what I've been doing and they're really happy with the results so far. They've actually given me their blessing to continue making these videos. I'm actually hoping that this opens up some really cool doors for future videos in terms of uh, content. I won't be releasing a video, another video till after Christmas. So Merry Christmas guys, and we will see you next time. Cheers.